Adam Turner PGC Basketball. Friday night's game between the Mavs and the Lakers was an instant classic with LeBron and Doncic having dueling 30-point triple doubles. And man, it came down to the last possession of regulation and the Lakers ran an unbelievable hammer action to get Danny Green a three. And we're gonna break that down here this week on Sunday set. And this is a play that Frank Vogel has now used multiple times this season late in games to get a three. Before we break it down, let's define exactly what hammer action is because as coaches, players out there, this is something you have to have in your package late in a game if you need a three because it's unstoppable. And it's simply this, it's creating a baseline drive situation and then a screen for a shooter flaring to the corner in the opposite side. And this is, I don't know exactly where it originated, but the San Antonio Spurs for years and years are the ones who popularized it, made it famous, and made it so commonplace in the modern game. So it wasn't shocking to see Danny Green catching this hammer action for a three late in the game, because that's something he did for years and years with Popovich and the Spurs. There's a lot of ways to get to hammer action, but let's break down exactly how the Lakers did it Friday night. So first of all, you had LeBron setting a zipper screen for Avery Bradley, who was controlling the basketball. LeBron then flared to the left wing, ripped and went baseline, and then on the opposite side, you had Dwight Howard coming out of the short corner to set a screen and maybe even a little bit of a hold against Seth Curry right there for Danny Green flaring to the corner. Now, why Hammer is so unstoppable, especially in big moments, is the baseline rip drive becomes almost impossible to not help on. Even in this big situation where there's no need to help on LeBron down three, you can see Kleber helps over leaving a two-on-one on the other side. So essentially what you're doing is using the defense's deeply ingrained habits against it in the biggest moment. And the last piece that makes it un unstoppable is the screen is coming from the blind side. So as the shooter flares to the corner, that screen is coming from their back and a switch is almost impossible because the screener's man is going to be in a help position and getting out to the corner becomes nearly an impossible feat. And so this play is just so unstoppable if you don't have at least one hammer action in your repertoire to get a three in a big moment, you've gotta put one in. Coaches, if you want to take your systems and strategies to the next level, you've got to sign up for Key 5 Coaching. The other thing we have to offer here at PGC Basketball is you can come to any of our summer sessions next summer and sit in on a five-day course where we're going to help you learn how to think the game and teach your players to think the game. And hey, if you like this video, give it a like. Make sure you leave a comment. Let us know what other actions you want to see us break down. And definitely hit that subscribe button on the screen. Ding the bell so you don't miss any of the content that we are putting out. My name's Adam Turner. This is PGC Basketball. Let's thank the game.